Welcome to Just a Thought. Today's thought is summer reading and writing. We think of summer, we think of vacations, pool, outdoors, but we can't take a vacation from learning. We can also make reading and writing fun. We can read together as a family. We can choose a book together that we can read either individually or together out loud um, and keep a notebook to record the thoughts about the story. Everybody can record answers to the questions or observations about characters, predictions what you think is going to happen, or maybe even just simply draw a picture. We also want to encourage independent reading for our kids and we need to make sure that their kids are choosing appropriate level books for them. We use what's called the five finger rule that you have the child read one page in the book and for each time they make a mistake on a word you put up a finger. If they make less than five then the book is a good level for them. It's a good fit. If there's more than five it's not such a good fit but that doesn't mean you can't read it out loud to them. Another way to encourage writing would be to read a, a nonfiction or a fiction book and have a write, written response to it. Uh, some prompts for a fiction book examples would be any characters that are like you in the book that remind you of someone else or yourself and how. Um, how do you deal with the problem? How would you deal with the problem in the story? And how would that change the outcome of the story? Some examples of prompts for nonfiction would be, what was a fact that you enjoyed the most? And what would you share with someone else that you learned? There will be more ideas on our website, on the blog, for nonfiction and fiction writing. Here at WSEA, we offer a writing workshop this summer for uh, fourth and fifth graders called Cool Writing. And for the secondary kids, we offer a speed reading comprehension workshop and a reading comprehension half day camp. That was today's thought. We welcome your comments and questions. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. What do you do to make reading and writing fun?